hello hello everyone and I am back again doing my lunchtime vlog this is my only day in the office this week um, I very fortunate um, only have to come in one day this week but I'm off on Friday because I gotta go get a mammogram so yeah, it's all in good health. It's very important that we go see the boob squishers. So I gotta go do that on Friday. So anyway, I am back today. Um, I decided that I'm going to have a wrap. And I don't know if you can see, that's a good shot. And they put a little pickle up in there. I'm having a wrap today and um hand sanitizer I already washed my hands but I touched the door and stuff like that so I don't know who's been touching on the door so I'm gonna make sure that I before I touch my food that I sanitize my hands the other thing is I went to Walmart and um twice this is my second time doing the uh, pickup, grocery pickup. I'm so proud of myself. I order my stuff online, then I drive up my little parking space and let them know I'm there. And they bring, pop my trunk, they bring the stuff out, put it in there, and then I go home and unload. So this time when I went, I went, I did that yesterday. So when I went, um, after I got off work yesterday, um, they had like a little thank you bag or whatever, and in it was, I don't know if y'all can see this. It's backwards on my side. Let's see. Anyway. Yeah, for some strange reason, it's reading backwards on here. But anyway, it's uh, Nestle's Pure Life. And it's a uh, Revive Water. And it has magnesium. And it says it's good to help with uh, reduced tiredness and fatigue. And it's lemon flavor. And I wasn't really sure what to expect. It has zero sweeteners. You can see that. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect. There's a nutrition panel. Wasn't sure what to expect. Cause some of these waters are nasty. But um, this just tastes like just water. like And they put like a squeeze of lemon in it. Um, I don't really, it tastes cleaner than regular water. I can't tell you that. But anyway, I, I was digging this. I don't have, I don't know if you can see. It's not that much left. So I've been drinking on this. It was ice cold when I first started drinking on it. So I used it to take my medicine. So I got me a little something to wet my whistle. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get it in. I'm not eating this whole thing. Y'all know I can't eat this whole thing. Um, I'll be lucky to get half of it finished. So I'm going to say grace. Well, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that I did do my live. The, um, I did do my live, um, and uh, I did announce the, or not announce, but I did a, the drawing. Well, somebody reported my video to YouTube, and YouTube took my video down, and they are not going to put it back up because they said that because I did the drawing, um, only for the individuals who made the comments on my videos that I was driving traffic to the video, which I guess technically that's not wrong or that's not incorrect, I should say. Um, but nevertheless, <coughs> I'm not going to worry about it. <coughs> so the winners, um, I did two journals and I did a cash app. So Shay's World won the $10 cash app. Heine Cute won, Heine Cute and um, Donnell uh, Griffin won the journals. So congratulations to the winners. My video is, my live stream is down, um, but I'm not going to cry about it. So <laughs> it is what it is. I just know not to uh, do it that way next time. So I just had to figure out a way to, I wanted to try to reward people for supporting my channel. And obviously doing it that way is against community rules. So since it's against community rules, I just have to figure out a different way to reward people for supporting my channel. Anyway, 
So I think I'm going to let me see if I can eat with my glasses on because sometimes I have to take my glasses off. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So, wow. I don't know what I was thinking, but, <coughs> woo! This has um, turkey and Swiss with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and I told her to put a few jalapeno in there, and then she put this, um, it's a chipotle mayo. Oh my God. Between the chipotle mayo and the jalapenos, let's just say my throat is clearing out. <laughs> I think I'm going to take my glasses off. Anyway, yeah. I don't know why I feel like it's less cumbersome if I don't have my glasses on. Uh. So anyway, that's what happened with the live. That's what happened with the drawing. New products. I'm going to have to go look this up and see how I can get some of that. It's pretty decent. And to see if it comes in different flavors. I'm not a real big water drinker. Now I'll eat ice and stuff like that to help get my, my fluid intake. But um, mm -hmm. I would drink this. I really would. Um, yeah, it says it has 35% of your daily magnesium, helps reduce tiredness and fatigue, and zero sugars. They recommend that you serve a chill. So, yeah. Can't go wrong with the vitamins and water and stuff like that. So, anyway. What are y'all eating today? What are you having for lunch? If it's past your lunch time when you're watching this video, what did you have for lunch? Hmm? Mm. I'm working on some tools that I will be uploading to my password protected, uh, the password protected page on my website. Uh, for my executive touch members um, and so there are going to be some really nice uh, things for you to download they will be in a PDF format I thought about putting them in a word format but I want you to be able to use them as is and not modify them so if it's in word and you are familiar with Microsoft um, the Microsoft Office you'll be able to manip manipulate the documents and I don't want you to do that. I want you to use them the way that I am actually providing them to you. Um, the other thing is I have uh, worked out a an arrangement with Shay's World. Hey girl! Uh, for her to provide the monogram for my journals because I have been banging my head against the wall trying to figure out how to uh, get the monogram or the logo or something on the front of my journals because the journals is all black um, and she instead of doing the logo uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a monogrammed in gold so they are gonna be so freaking nice so the product line um, I'm not gonna talk a lot about that because um, I will be releasing an official a statement that talks about what we're offering so it won't just be t-shirts I don't think I'm gonna do mugs because I think everybody's doing mugs and I'm just I don't think it's necessary so um, there will be some t-shirts um, and there will be the journals there are and there they're gonna be some other things because you know um, my actual brand is um, service related so it's not an actual product like a lot of people are selling like merchandise and stuff like that so my merchandise is is I'm selling my merchandise in order to promote the service that I offer and so I offer services to help people brand themselves to better um, promote their business to understand uh, what it means to actually present yourself in a certain way, you know, different things like that. 
but also we deal with organization, um, helping you to kind of get your, not just your thoughts together, but, you know, bring your thoughts into fruition in an organized manner. Um, and so that you have the ability to move forward um, with a plan. Uh, we are a health and wellness advocate um, uh, company, um, which basically means that they're within the six component of uh, components of health and wellness, we have services that we offer that will assist you. Um, whether we are doing providing that service directly or whether we're pro providing it through a collaboration or partnership. So anyway, that's the purpose of me selling merch because I'm actually promoting my brand as a service and not the merch is not my product, if that makes sense. Mm -mm. So anyway, I did get some avocado from Walmart when I got my groceries. And I really wanted <clears throat> to have some avocado for breakfast because avocado, if you don't know, is a really good source of protein. And <clears throat> sometimes, especially when I first started the plant-based journey, I got to drink something because that chipotle mayo was killing me. Um, when I first started the plant-based journey, I couldn't figure out like what the heck, like you run out of, you don't want to eat stuff that's high in carbs and high in sugar, you know, like waffles and pancakes and stuff like that. <coughs> but what happens is you, you run out of ideas. And so I was watching uh, Simply Quinoa, which is a, a channel that I used to, a YouTube channel that I used to watch, content creator on YouTube, I should say it like that, um, that I used to watch all the time. And she started preparing, her and um, Sweet Potato Soul, they started preparing like Buddha bowls in the breakfast, in the breakfast, in the morning for breakfast. And some of them included protein. Um, I'm just getting all tongue tied. They created Buddha bowls in the morning for breakfast and some of them included avocado. And I couldn't figure out um, because I hadn't done the research at that time why they was including avocado because I'm like that's a savory item and usually in the morning for breakfast you don't really do like savory that's not meat and so then I was like bling not meat so I started researching it <clears throat> and I realized that the the avocado was um, representative of protein and so I also noticed that when they did like their shakes and stuff, their smoothies or whatever, they put avocado in there. Why? Because avocado makes your, um, your protein shake or your smoothie smooth and it provides an extra boost of protein and, and some other nutrients. And so I was like, hmm. So I started using avocado in a lot of different ways. Not just for guac, y'all. It's not just for guac. <laughs> but anyway, so it, Long story short, let me back to where I was saying. I, I got avocado from Walmart <clears throat> with my grocery delivery, but whoever picked them out, they are rock hard. So I couldn't even like use them for. I was gonna eat half of one for breakfast, you know, with with my breakfast this morning, but I couldn't even do that because I didn't check them yesterday. I just took everything out of the, you know, bag out of the grocery bags and all that kind of stuff, and I left them sitting on the counter not realizing what they were because I pulled them out at the same time that I pulled out lemons. So obviously lemons are going to be hard. So it didn't register that what I might have been touching was one of the avocados. So needless to say, when I got up this morning and I went downstairs and I was like, oh, got to remember the avocado. Grabbed the avocado and it was like, I'm not going to be able to eat this because it was, it was rock hard. So I was like, oh. anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Um, what the thought process was? Oh, and the other thing is, when I um, I put so like the first time I did it, I put two dozen. I mean, two packs of the eighteen count eggs, right? And 
it came kind of vacuum sealed together or whatever. This time I just got one, put one on the list. Well, instead of them emailing me or like they'll, they'll ask you, you know, tell you when you, before you finalize your order, you know, is there anything here that you don't want us to sub? So I never check anything off because I'm like, if they can sub for something like another item, they'll tell you they subbed it. So you had an option of once you get there to say whether you want it or not. So instead of them subbing my 18 count eggs for a dozen of eggs, they just didn't give me eggs. They said it was out of stock. And I was like, seriously? I would have much rather you sub me a smaller quantity of eggs than just eliminate them all together. So now I gotta do another order. All that crap. So, They did that with three items. They said it was out of stock. Two of them, I'm not surprised. One of them was, it's a um, sparkling water, the Walmart Sam's brand, whatever they call it. Um, my husband loves the, it's Fiji apple flavor. I don't know why he, like, he, he just loves it. So when it, whenever I see it, I grab you know, as many as I can. So they, that was out of stock. I'm not surprised because I, even though I saw it on the website, as many Walmarts as I've been into and I've done groceries and different things like that, I haven't seen it in a while. So I was like, ah, this is a crap shoot, but we're gonna put it on there anyway. So that one, I kind of figured. The other item was they have this potato salad. If y'all have not gone to get this potato salad, let me tell you something. You would never eat regular potato salad ever, ever again. It is the potato salad that's already made. It's pre-made, but it's called deviled egg. OMG. You are eating deviled eggs. Like, it's a potato salad, but it's deviled egg flavor. So, it's imagine making deviled eggs, but it's your potato salad. Way more seasoning. Uh, herbs and stuff completely different from now they usually have a mustard potato salad and I think like a mayo potato salad and something else but when I saw that I grabbed I was like oh this this is interesting I have not bought any other potatoes and normally I cook my own potato salad but when she tired and she don't feel like going through all of that yes ma'am so when I saw that it was on the website but I know it was on the website because they were going based on purchases that I made previously so um they, it was recommended. So I was like, oh, I hope they, and I got some in the refrigerator, but it's like maybe two, two tablespoons left, not much at all. And I was like, oh, let me grab another container of this. They didn't have any more. So I was like, oh, I kind of anticipated because sometimes I've gone in there and it's, the shelf is completely empty, like for the deviled egg potato salad. And sometimes I've gone in there and it looked like they just restocked. So. That was another item that was kind of a crapshoot. But the eggs, come on, y'all. Y'all could have gave me two dozen and charged me, you know, the difference or whatever. You could have done anything but just not give me eggs. So that's my rant for the day. <laughs> mm. She didn't put enough heat. Mm. You gotta chew with this, don't you? She didn't put enough heat on this wrap because it's not like normally when they put it on the press and they put the heat on it, it seals it. But it's not it's it's not really sealed all that well. So it's kind of flattening out and some other stuff. So Um, anyway, I just want to come in and chill with y'all like I've been doing. Everybody seems to like my lunchtime vlogs. I've gotten uh, um, some positive feedback on this, and I know that um, 
when I used to do my ride with me's, I got a lot of positive feedback on that as well. So, um, y'all keep an eye out on, uh, keep an eye out for my lyrics and sound, the Free Flow Fridays, because I am going to be um, presenting some artists that I just absolutely love. Some you may know, some you may not know. Um, if you have a request for an artist that you would like me to feature, please let me know. You can always drop a comment uh, down below in this video and let me know. I respond to all of my comments all the time. I may be a day or two behind sometimes, but I try to be really good about responding to all of my comments. So make sure that if you have a request, even if it's uh, not regarding Free Flow Friday, if you have a request for a specific type of content, you know, and I'm you're actually watching uh, one of my videos, drop me a comment in that video and just say, hey, you know, I would like to see you do X, Y, and Z. Um, if I can accommodate you, I will do the research and get the video up as soon as possible. Keep in mind my lunchtime blogs, cooking, that sort of thing happens on Wednesday. Free Flow Friday is obviously, obviously on Friday. Monday is a catch-all day. So you, if, if it's anything that falls outside of those two areas, you'll see it on a Monday. Um, because I go live on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I, I rest on um, Sunday. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. This video, I'm do my best for it not to be too, too long. But it's definitely a little bit longer than uh, my other videos. So just want to come in and chit-chat with y'all. Just say, hey, what's up? How you doing? How you living? What you eating? All that good old stuff. So this is going to be your girl signing out. And y'all know we don't ever get out of here without saying love yourself, love somebody else. And until next time, y'all take care. Peace.